Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I want to show you guys how I do my liquid liner. Um, I'm gonna show you like my method and my technique on how to do it. Um, I just want to say a disclaimer: this is not a foolproof way. This isn't the most guaranteed way. I'm not telling you this is the only way to do your eyeliner. The only guaranteed factual tip I have for you is to practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Um, and even when you practice all the time, you're gonna mess up. I literally messed up in the begin in this video when I did this eye. Like, there's no foolproof way to do your eyeliner. Everyone has their off days. The best, absolute best makeup artists have their off days. It's it's normal, you know. Um, so don't get discouraged if you're a beginner and you're like feeling like you literally will never be able to do liquid liner. You will. You just need to. Find your own technique, find your own method, find the type of liner you like, whether it's um, gel or liquid or even just like a pencil brush to smudge out or freaking eyeshadow. You just have to find what your niche is, I guess, and um, from there you will prosper. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is not foolproof, so don't get mad at me if you're ground boy. Just kidding. Just, but just figure it out. Play with makeup. It's makeup. It comes off, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Let's go. Hey guys. Uh, okay. So I have you zoomed up for um obvious reasons. So if you see all these imperfections, um. Sorry, if that's out of the world, if you know what I'm saying. So, what you're gonna need first to begin with my method is get some type of lubricant, I guess, or something. Not a lubricant, what the fuck? Something to um, moisten, moisten, hmm. Wet your brush is what I'm trying to say. Get wet your brush like with water, a setting spray, whatever, Fix Plus, whatever. I'm just gonna use. Evian, sometimes I just use a random spray bottle. Do you? I'm just going to just spray it on a uh, clean surface. I'm just going to spray it on my desk. You know, it might not be that clean, but you know. Just roll with the punches, ladies. Okay. So, and also you're going to need a little tissue, and you're just going to dip your brush. And also you have to pick your favorite brush. So, whether if it's like an angled brush that kind of looks like an eyebrow brush um maybe a little little one that has like like an angled like barrel um whatever you prefer my favorite to apply liner like a gel liner or eyeshadow um is this small smudge brush small smudge brush from elf it's just super tiny um really nice and precise so i love it so yeah i'm just gonna dip it in the water then kind of take off the excess, dip it again, yeah. And then you're just going to take your preferred color. I'm going to take black because I'm just going to do a traditional wing. And this is just like a nice black from a Coastal Sense palette. And this is actually a really good pigmented black, especially for this case. So I dig it. So you're just going to dip your brush into there. Get it nice and coated. And then what you're going to do, um, you could... If you feel like you need to take off excess, you could start here and do little tick marks, which I'll show you right now. Like sometimes I do this just to begin. Like I said, little tick marks are little etched points of a line to begin. And then, but the biggest, but like I usually just start at the corner. But um, so, and a big tip is use your pinky as leverage. You don't want to put your whole hand on your face because obviously you just beat that shit you beat that shit up so you don't want to mess it up so with my case I have a good kind of guideline because usually I when I do my um concealer I kind of sculpt it out a little bit so that that's a little thing you can make yourself a little guideline with your eyeshadow already or if you don't have eyeshadow on this is what I would do so you're just going to start at the corner and start creating a line. You can go in small strokes, make a, like a sharp, like straight line, all connected at once. But I usually go in like that and make little etches along the way. 
and I'm going towards the end of my eyebrow as if it's going to meet perpendicularly. So I'm pretty happy with that length. And from here on out, this is where you're going to determine how tapered off you want your wing to look, how dramatic, how thick, all that good stuff. So I typically begin like inclining down, starting from the center of this line we just created, and just inclining down at your desired angle. And then just fill that in. And then I gradually keep going up the line, thickening, thickening it and figuring out how, and like choosing how tapered off I want it and how thinned out I want the ends. So I'm pretty happy with that. You see how I like started in the center and gradually went up towards the tip of the line? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I know I'm a terrible teacher. But, yeah, I hope you kind of got the gist of it. And then, now that is a perfect, like, outline of the wing you want. And now all you have to do, I don't know where to put it, is just go in with your liquid liner. And the reason I do this, like, tracing guideline method is because with your liquid liner, if you know, unless you're using a felt tip, your liquid liner brush applicator is extremely flimsy. Like, it literally just, like, flops super easily. I just got freaking stuff on my face. Oh well. Just gonna pretend that's a mole. And um yeah, so doing a guideline it gives you more control and all that good stuff. Um a a really good liquid liner which I'm gonna use is this NYX one, and I think it's really helpful and it's really good for people who are getting like just starting off into liquid liner because the handle is super long, so it combats with the flimsy brush and also this is pretty affordable um, another good one is the NYC one but the handle is a lot shorter therefore you don't have as much control you know what I'm saying so now we're just gonna go in and just trace over this you still want to be like you still want to be like steady and you don't want to just like, go in there because I've gone in there acting too cocky and I'm, I fucked it up I fucked up this whole guideline you know so you still want to go in there pretty safe and like like calm I guess because you don't want to mess up this beautiful trace work you just did or guideline whatever just gonna go in and literally just go over wherever you put it And I bring it in a little bit more and then I go back in my with my brush and drag some of this liquid liner downward so there's no blunt ending you know and also don't over dip your brush into the product because it is a liquid it's not gonna dry in a second this liquid liner does dry like relatively quick and it stays put really well but you have a little bit of like working time to work with it and like move it around get it to your um desired placement on your lid all that good stuff so don't put too much liquid in there because it will get very messy very quickly so yeah and now I'm just gonna do this eye how I would normally do it on a regular day-to-day -day basis I'm not gonna talk I'm not gonna speed it up I'm just gonna show you how simple it truly is it's not like that looks easier said than done is literally so simple and doing this step you're gonna be like oh my god I'm adding so much time to my routine but if you think about it how I think about it anyway is me doing this makes it easier I know I'm adding a step but if I don't do the step I'll most likely mess up going in there with my liquid lighter first and then I'll like be, have two different types of wings I'll have to go back in and erase one and try to match it to this and this is going to be a big on big ass project and process going back and forth trying to make them symmetrical this like method I don't know you just have more control so you're most likely going to come out with a better outcome you know what I mean I'm going to wet my brush again and just get started
pretty, pretty simple. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Am I right? See, I made a little mistake, of course. It's all right, like I said at the beginning. No one s perfect. I'm just gonna take a little brush and just um, just wipe that away. Yeah, I take if I ever do make a little mistake, I just take a, like a nice, like precise brush. This is literally from like uh, AC More or something. It's Craft Smart. I use this for my acrylics painting, but I also like this for the eyes. I think it's nice. And then I just wipe it on my makeup wipe, get a little of that remover on there, and just swipe it away nicely. So yeah, I'm just going to bring some of this in. Yep. Pretty, but I'm almost funny. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna revamp my um, mascara, and that'll be it. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm not the best teacher in the world. I'm probably, honestly, the worst instructor, but I tried, and hopefully you can kind of get some type of, like, help or info from me um maybe this whole video will help you i don't know but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching remember to thumbs this video subscribe to me if you want more of me um i have an instagram if you want to check that out i post daily pictures of my everyday makeup looks this look is on there so yeah all right thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys next time bye i believe i can fly I spread my wings and touch the sky. I dream of what you ever done to me. I spread my wings and fly away. Mm -hmm. If I'm not like the way, mm -hmm. tell me honestly.